hello class welcome to my channel so in this video i will explain how to find the derivative of the function but this time we'll focus muna tayo sa dalawang basic rules of the of derivatives which is the derivative of a constant and the power rule okay so the formula for the derivative of a constant so we have d over dx so yung d over dx ito yung ating operator Okay? So, pag, pag kami nakita kayong d over dx, meaning yan, pinapa-differentiate sa inyo or pinapakuha yung derivatives nung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, in this case, we have c, which means constant. So, ang derivatives daw ng constant is equals to 0. Okay? And sa power rule naman, we have d over dx of x raised to n. So, yung n natin dyan is any number yan. Then, yung x is yung ating variable. So, dito, para makuha yung derivatives ng ating uh, function, ang gagawin lang daw is multiply natin yung ating exponent dun sa x. Then, after natin magawa yun, magma-minus 1 tayo doon sa kanyang exponent. Okay? So, let's have example number 1. So, find the derivative of the function y equals 6x squared minus 5x plus 9. So, unahin natin yung ating y, magiging y prime na. Yung prime guys, ang ibig sabihin yan, yung function natin is naka first derivative na. Okay? So, in other reference, pwede rin namang dy over dx. Same lang naman yon. Since yung d over dx, ang meaning niya rin is yung differentiation natin. Or naka first derivative yung ating y. So, try na natin. So, ang first term natin dito is 6x squared. So, yung x squared, so that is under the power rule. Ang gagawin nyo lang, multiply natin yung exponent dun sa ating coefficient. So, 2 times 6, we have 12. Then, Based sa power rule natin, yung exponent natin, magma-minus tayo ng 1. Okay? Minus. So, dito naman, sa second term natin, na 5x. Since walang exponent yung x, understood yan na meron yung 1 dyan. So, kung multiply mo yan, 1 times 5, we have 5. Then, x, 1 minus 1. Yung exponent natin, magma-minus 1. Okay? Plus derivative ng 9. Since yung 9 is constant, based dun sa ating formula, the derivative of a constant is 0. Okay? So, simplifying our function, we have 12 x, then 2 minus 1, we have 1 minus 5 x, 1 minus 1, we have 0. Okay, then plus 0. So, ang final answer natin, 12x minus 5. Then, yung x raised to 0, magiging 1 na yan. So, 5 times 1, we have 5. So, ang first derivative, or ang derivatives ng 6x squared minus 5x plus 9 is 12x minus 5. Okay? So, let's have example number 2. Sa example number 2 natin, kung makapansin nyo, meron tayong mga denominators. Or yung mga variables natin is nasa denominator. So, bago tayo mag-take ng first derivative, make sure guys na yung mga variable natin is nasa numerator muna. Okay? Para hindi rin tayo mahirapan. So, dito magiging y equals, so pag inangat natin yung x raised to 4, magiging x raised to negative 4 na yan. Okay? Na-apply lang natin yung ano, uh, loss of exponent dito. Minus 2, then x raised to negative 2, plus 3x. Okay? So, since wala na, yung, wala na tayong mga fraction, or yung mga variable natin is wala na sa denominator, pwede na natin kunin si derivatives ng y. Okay? So, applying the, applying the power rule, 
i-multiply lang natin yung exponent dun sa ating coefficient. So, this time we have negative 4 times 3, we have negative 12. Then, x, then yung exponent natin, magma-minus tayo ng 1. Okay? Next, negative 2 times negative 2, we have positive 4. Then, x raised to negative 2 minus 1. Okay? Plus, dito naman, we have 1 times 3, so that's 3. Then, x, 1 minus 1. Okay? Then, simplifying our function, we have negative 12, x raised to negative 5, plus 4x raised to negative 3, and 3x raised to 0. Okay? So, pagka magbibigay kayo ng final answer, guys, make sure na wala tayong negative exponent sa ating function. So, ang simplest form pa nito is we have y prime is equals to negative 12 over x raised to 5. So, ibabalik lang natin siya sa dating form niya. Okay? Plus 4, we have x cubed. So, dito guys, yung mga negative exponent, pagka nilagay mo na yung variable sa denominator, yung exponent niya, magchichange ng sign. Okay? So, dito, ang nangyari, from negative naging positive. Plus, 3x raised to 0. So, yung x raised to 0, that is equals to 1. So, 1 times 3. So, we have 3. So, ito na yung ating final answer. Okay? So, next, we have example number 3. Y equals 3x raised to 1 third minus 6x raised to 3 over 2 plus 5x raised to 5 over 4. So, applying the, applying the power rule, so ang gagawin natin is multiply natin yung exponent dun sa kanyang coefficient. So, we have y prime is equal to 1 third times 3. Okay? Then, x raised to 1 third Minus 1. Okay? Next. Minus. So, 3 over 2. Mumultiply natin yan dun. So, that is 3 over 2 times 6. Then, yung exponent natin, wag mo minus 1 ulit tayo. Plus. 5 over 4. Multiply natin dun kay 5. Okay? Then, sa ating exponent na 5 over 4, magma-minus 1 tayo. So, yan yung ating power rule. Then, simplify natin. We have 1 third times 3. So, this is 3 over 3 or 1. So, kung 1 na yung ating coefficient, di natin siya kailangang isulat. Then, 1 third minus 1. So, para makapag-minus kayo ng mas mabilis, kailangan... Um, Iparehas nyo yung kanilang denominator. Okay? So, dito we have 1 third minus 1. Ang equivalent ng 1 when it comes to over 3 is 3 over 3. Okay? So, parehas lang naman yan. Kasi yung 3 over 3, 3, over 3 isang equivalent nya is 1 din. Minus. So, 3 times 6. We have 18 divided by 2. So, that is 9 x so 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2 okay plus 5 times 5 so we have 25 over 4 or divided by 4 we have 25 over 4 then x raised to 5 over 4 minus 4 over 4 okay ang ginawa natin sa minus 1 is kinopya lang natin yung denominator para makombine natin yung kanyang exponent. So, we have y prime equals x. So, 1 third minus 3 over 3, we have negative 2 thirds. Okay? So, 1 minus 3, we have negative 2, then copy the denominator. Minus 
9x raised to 3 minus 2, we have 1. Then, copy the denominator. Okay? Plus, 25 over 4, x, 5 minus 4, we have 1. Then, copy the denominator. Okay? So, dito, yung ating first term ay merong negative exponent. So, kailangan isimplify pa natin yan. So, ang final answer natin is y prime equals 1 over x raised to 2 thirds minus 9x raised to 1 half plus 25 over 4 x raised to 1 fourth. Okay? So, ito na yung ating final answer. Okay, so next, let's have our last example, number 4. y is equals to x cubed plus 5 over 2 times square root of x. So dito guys, um, bago tayo makapag-apply ng power rule, tanggad, kailangan matanggal muna natin yung mga radical symbols natin. Okay? So convert muna natin yung ating function. We have x cubed plus 5 over 2, then x. So, alam naman natin, ang, ang, ang equivalent ng ating square root is the same lang siya ni x raised to 1 half. Okay? So, dito magkakaroon tayo ng ating 1 half na exponent. So, after nyan, pwede na natin i-apply yung ating power rule. So, y equals, or y prime equals, multiply na natin si 3. So, we have 3 x then 3 minus 1 plus multiply 1 half k 5 over 2 we have 1 half times 5 over 2 then x 1 half minus 1 okay simplify so y prime is equal to 3x squared plus 1 half times 5 over 2 that is 5 over 4 then x, 1 half minus 1. So, yung 1 half minus 1 natin, magiging siyang 1 half minus 2 over 2. Okay? Then, 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. Over, then copy the denominator, which is 2. Okay? Next, kung mapansin nyo, we have negative exponent. So, para maging, neg para maging positive ang ating exponent, Ililipat lang natin yung from numerator mapupunta sa denominator. So, y prime equals 3x squared plus 5 over 4x raised to 1 half. So, this will be our final answer. Okay? So, kung meron kayong questions, comments, or clarification, Paki-sulat na lang sa comment section below. So, dito nagtatapos ang ating video guys. So, thank you and see you on our next video. Bye!